last night at the Denver Marriott West, Robbins staged his firewalk for about 400 people. Robbins got his followers into an emotion-charged state, and they marched to a fire pit in the back of the hotel. Conga drums were played. The people clapped and chanted. A dozen of Robbins' assistants kept up the fever pitch, exhorting the crowd to continue its ritual. And then one by one, 400 people hopped across the beds of red-hot coals. Now, the trick to fire walking has been exposed so many times over the past few years, it's almost passe. Wood coal is very light. It's a poor conductor of heat. Anybody can walk on it as long as that fire walker gets off the coals very quickly. The average time of the walk is about one and a half to two seconds. A good parallel is touching a hot cake in the oven. You don't get burned. You will burn, however, if you touch the metal cake pan. At this recent seminar in Dallas, magician Danny Corum challenged Tony Robbins to walk on a metal grate that was placed over the coals. That trick, however, despite Robbins' claims, could not be legitimately accomplished. Corum also challenges Robbins' claims that he once raised a person from the dead. Robbins admitted to us last night that a small number of his seminar participants have been burned. Um, I don't believe anybody here in Denver has or may have been one. I don't know for sure, but 11 people have. 11 people have? Why did they get, uh, why were they seriously burned? Various reasons. Some people in the middle of the coals got stopped and so forth. Okay. We have 80,000 graduates of the program. Actually, the number of people burned while fire walking is probably much, much higher. A national skeptics group estimates as many as 75% of Robbins' fire walkers receive some minor burns. They don't often complain, though, because it's viewed as a personal failure of faith. But fire walking can be very dangerous. I don't want anybody to have to go through what I went through. It was a humiliating, awful experience. One of those at last night's Dog and Pony show was Melanie Morgan, a reporter for KGO in San Francisco. I got almost all the way across before I realized that I was burning. Three years ago, she attended this fire walking seminar in California. This is Melanie walking across the coals. She stayed on a bit too long and received first and second degree burns. She came within 24 hours of having extensive skin grafts. I was treated at St. Francis Burn Center for two weeks every day, sulfadine treatments. I was in a wheelchair for two weeks. I was completely unable to take care of myself. Um, I could not literally walk to the bathroom by myself because the bottom of my feet became charbroiled stumps. Melanie is now a crusader against the occultist practice of fire walking. The motivation seminar, no problem. It can be uplifting and exciting, but she's concerned that others may suffer the same kind of pain she went through. Some of those, by the way, at last night's fire walk were children whose parents had them walk through the coals. While Robbins teaches that with his help, you don't have to be afraid of anything, Robbins himself is apparently very afraid of something. Yesterday, he made the rounds of Denver area talk shows. He did have an interview scheduled with Channel 9, but when he found out who would be asking the questions, he abruptly canceled the interview. Who is that? Who was it who disrupted the seminar? Uh -huh. uh, a gentleman who felt...